Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is binary tree to DLL, where DLL stands for double elect list, right? So first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be having a look on the coding part, right? Before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't done so because it will motivate me to make more such content for you and i believe that the channel will be helpful for you we are continuously putting multiple job opportunities and other placement related information on our channel so it will help you a lot so make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon as well so that you are not missing any notification from the channel side and do join our telegram channel and you can follow me on other platforms as well the accounts has been mentioned in the description itself so let's get started with the problem statement the problem says given a binary tree convert it to a doubly linked list in place the left and right pointers in nodes are to be used as previous and next pointer respectively in converted dll so what they are saying that see in our tree we have left and right pointer right for uh, you know or like for example this tree we have so this uh, we have the left pointer and the right pointer and in case of a doubly linked list or linked list what do we have in case of doubly linked list we have two pointer previous and next so here what they are saying that left pointer will refer to previous one and right pointer will refer to next pointer right in the converted dll so the order of nodes in dll must be same as in order of the given binary tree right so you must be knowing that there are three kind of traversal uh, basically we we can include level order as well so we have in order pre-order post order level order so here what they're expecting from us uh, that the order in which we have to place the nodes in doubly linked list should be in order of the given binary tree so the first node of in order traversal is going to be what so in in order traversal what is the sequence first priority will be to the left node then root or parent then then what do we have right node right so obviously you know that as in terms of priority the leftmost node would be what first node of the w link list so that's what they're saying this should be the head node of the w link list so this is a tree given to us right so if you have to you know if you will be determining the w link list for the same then this is what we are going to get so for this tree what is the leftmost node 25 right 25 that's what we have then we have to process the node so the node is 12 and what is the right child of 12 30 so we'll be having 30 then again process the node so that is what 10 then the right part of it so here so this is the node 15 we have and uh, obviously we have to prioritize left node first so it is it is having the left node which is 36 so first 36 then process that node so node is 15 right the parent one so 15 so that's what we'll be having so here we are having uh, other examples as well right so hope you must be getting the idea so now let's let's get started for understanding the scene like how it is working what logic we're going to implement whatever task is to we have to complete the function b to dll that takes root node of the tree as a parameter and returns the head of w linked list expected time complexity and auxiliary space has been mentioned so now understand the logic first of all uh, what we can use uh, to solve this problem as if it is a tree then something you must be thinking about recursion is it can we use recursion here to solve this particular problem yeah sure we can so let's understand how recursion is going to help us here uh, so let's say this is the binary tree given to us to which we have to convert that uh, into the doubly linked list right so uh, here's the logic like this is going to be the algorithm that we're going to use to solve this particular problem so first of all we have to see if the root node itself is null then we have to simply return otherwise see uh, what they have mentioned that we have to follow we want in order a traversal of the tree that would be like how nodes would be arranged so first of all uh, we'll be making a call to left node right this is what do we have right so first of all we'll be making a call to left part let's say this is the tree given to us so if you will explore to the left part we'll move to the 12 right so now this is the root so we're gonna check root is equal equal null no right then again we'll be moving to the left side now we have 25 so root again that is not null so again we'll be making a call to the left so this time the left is null right 
so if you will move here so root equal equal null the condition is true right so what then we'll be having simply return so if temp equal equal null so we'll be simply returning right because that's the left child was null for this one right so here we'll be checking now if temp equal equal null so for this temp and all let me mention that so let's say we are taking two nodes head and temp so we are initializing with them null right so temp is equal equal to null of course it is so what we're going to do is what is going to be the head now head is going to be the root node which is nothing but 25 which is nothing but 25 so right and now we are going to mark it as temp right so root equal to temp so this is what temp is okay now what we have to do is we'll be processing that node we'll be returning back and we'll be processing that node okay so now we have 12 so for 12 again we're going to check this part for 12 again we're going to check this part so temp equal equal null is it no right it, it is not null this time so else part will be executed so temp dot right equal to root we have it means uh the right of temp the right of temp is going to be the root which is nothing but 12 right and root dot left would be see left is referring to previous one and right is referring to the next one that's what even they have mentioned the question so this is going to be the left of the current uh, root that we are having and we are updating the value of temp as root so this would be our temp now right so we have processed the node we have processed the node right now we'll now we'll explore further so next what do we have we are done with 25 12 30 now uh, see you have processed the node so right part is pending right so here we'll be making a call we'll be making a call to the right part of the node so node root okay so what is the root 30 right so it is not equal to null it is not equal to null right so we'll be making a call to the left part of it left is null we'll be returning back to the node we'll be returning back to the node so now again um this if part temp equal equal null that is not going to be true we'll be having the else part so temp dot right we are making it as root which is nothing but 30 and the left is going to be the temp and we'll be updating the value of temp so temp would be pointing here now we'll be making a call to right so the right is also null so we'll be returning back to the node right now next what do we have so we'll be returning back to this one then we'll be returning back to this node so this has to be processed now so for this one if if condition we're gonna check so that is not true else part would be executed so temp dot right so temp dot right equal to root which is nothing but 10 and the left of this particular left of this particular uh, root is going to be what temp and we are updating the value of temp now now we'll be making a call to the right so we have processed this node now we are making a call to the right part so what do we have in the right 15 right so this particular node we do have in the right part so, uh, this condition is not going to be true now we are making a call to the left part helper root dot left so what is the left of this particular uh, node 36 right so again that is also not null so again we are going to make a call to the left part so now here in the in the left of this particular node there is null so we'll be returning back to this particular node itself now uh, we are checking this condition so if temp equal equal null no right so else part would be executed so temp right we are going to put 36 and root dot left would be temp and then we are updating the value of temp right now the call to the right obviously we have nothing so it will be returning back to the function now we'll be processing that node right which is nothing but 15 so for 15 if you will check right so this obviously this else part will be executed now you must be getting the flow right like how this is working so temp dot right is going to be nothing but 15 and the left is going to be temp the left of root is going to be temp and now we'll be updating the value of temp so as we are done with the processing of all the nodes so that's what is going to be the doubly linked list for the given binary tree right so hope you must be able to understand like how basically this is working and at the last what we're going to do is we are going to simply return this head right in the function that is given to us so we'll be simply returning this net and this is what our doubly linked list is
so yeah that's that's you can see that was a good problem uh, related with recursion so hope you must be getting the flow hope you must be able to understand the algorithm try to do a dry run from your end right so then you'll be able to get a better understanding now let's move to the code part so yeah so here is the function given to us node b2 dll that is having a parameter node root so if root itself is equal to null we are simply turning null otherwise we are making a call to this helper function to which we are passing root now here we have taken two global variables head as well as temp which has been initialized with null now in this function see if root itself is null then we are simply returning otherwise so we are making a call to the left part now we are checking here that if temp is equal equal null so will be so head will be so root value will be equal to to that of head otherwise like you know we were we were discussing the same when i was discussing the logic part so the, that's how we are updating the value for left and right pointer and um, we are updating the value of temp as root okay and then we are making a call to the right portion so yeah that's what it is i hope you must be able to understand the logic and the code part as well i have provided the code in the description so that in case you want to have a reference from that thank you so much everyone for watching keep learning keep preparing bye bye